Hello everyone, I'm your host Peyton Goodwin and welcome back to the third episode of Digital Drips Season 2. Hope you all are ready to witness some very talented dancers from right here in the Port City. Dancer Jessica Palobicki, you might know her as JP Improv, and members of the popular dance group here at UNCW, Physical Graffiti, are here to showcase their ideas through the power of dance. First up, we have a performance from Jess. Just inevitable distance Twisted bitterness I give her too much She'll be over Well I will ring you up Say I want you Fuck chop, fuck stop Say I never wanted that It's just inevitable distance Twisted bitterness I give her too much She'll be Thanks so much, Jess. While she's getting ready for her second performance, we sat down with her earlier to talk about dancing and what it means to her. Let's take a look. Hey, my name is Jess, hashtag JP Improv. <laughs> change, step back with your left, out my damn brain. Well, I really, really love to dance and I'm nurturing, caring, and honestly, just a really free-loving person. Truthfully, I started when I was two, and I'm pretty sure my mom bribed me to do it. But um, as I got older, dance became more of a safe place for me. Um, and it wasn't until recently where I really discovered that it's been the one constant in my life that has always been there and something that I can feel really safe doing, and I love it a lot. So I hated improv. When I first started, it actually really, really scared me. Um, and then I got into the studio, I think it was actually when I moved to North Carolina. 
I was doing some improv, but it wasn't until I moved here where I got this newfound inspiration. And um, I started to dig deep into my soul. And what I was doing through dance was matching what I was doing in my waking life, like everything that I do every day. Um, and just digging into my soul and figuring out who I am. And that's what I am when I improv. I feel like I am the music. Um, so it feels like explosions and vibrations and um, I can almost feel it through my bones and through my blood. Um, and that's something that I really want to do through my dance is become a visual representation of what people are hearing. Because um, dance is magic and I think that's magic. Um, okay, so I do teach at a studio called Techniques in Motion. Um, I'm a company coach there. I also teach a really beautiful class called Dance Abilities. Um, it's for kids with, uh, kids with all sorts of disabilities, whichever. Um, and they come in and it's just a safe place for them to dance and find a creative movement style and just, you know, come and have fun. Um, for the future, I honestly just want to make an impression. I want to change the world somehow through my movement. Um, I want to inspire people and I want to make them feel something and um, I think that would be my most important mission here and is just to pass on this love and pass on a passion because having a passion is the most beautiful thing. Wow, what a performance. Thank you so much, Jess, but don't go anywhere. We have a performance from members of UNCW's group, Physical Graffiti. But before we get to dancing, how about we take a look and see what they had to say about their experience with dancing and being part of this talented group of dancers. We are Physical Graffiti. We are UNCW's hip hop dance crew. I'm Delaney. I'm Olivia. And I'm Gina.
I've always loved hip hop. So my um, orientation leader actually told me about physical graffiti. So I looked him up on YouTube. Uh, and then at the involvement carnival my freshman year, I found Mike, he was the president at that time, and he told me about it, and I was super, super excited after that, and so then I auditioned. Yeah, I think for me it's different because I had no idea who PG was. I didn't know really any student organizations on campus except for um, about my major at the time. And I was really invested in cheer my whole life, and I got ready for the, um, for the cheer tryouts, auditions, and I laid myself in the mirror and told myself that I've done this my entire life, might as well do something different, and I remembered that PG auditions were the same day, same time, same place. So I switched into some leggings and a big, white, nasty looking shirt and <laughs> auditioned, and it's been great ever since. At my freshman orientation, I saw the PG booth, and I was like, hey, that's pretty sick. So I decided to give it a shot, and I'm really glad I did. Aww. I think it just feels good to have a group of people who are building you up and who are pushing you to grow and not that I didn't have that growing up but it kind of felt like the people around me were my competition and now I feel like the people around me are my team. Having that community on campus has really established my undergrad as a whole. It's made me find my friends who are still my friends today and who will be my forever friends and it also has developed myself into more of the North Carolina dance community that I didn't realize that was there. It's helped me um, gain confidence, it's helped me gain jobs, all that stuff. So, It makes me feel lucky to have a place where I can go three times a week and know that there are people that I can talk to in practice but also hang out with after practice and it just makes me feel more welcome on campus because I know so many people and I have so many connections through our dance team and we have so many opportunities to get involved with other groups and get involved with other people and all together it just makes me really happy to be a part of a team that is so connected with each other. I feel like I can walk into a room with my head held high and just kind of like be proud of what I'm a part of. Like I don't have to kind of shy away from what I'm doing. I'm really happy to be where I am. Yeah, like PG's not just like a little dance team. Like that that's not what we are. We're a dope dance team. PG has changed my life forever. PG dancers. <laughs>